Welcome to the John Report. I'm John. Here's my report. A female captain for the Washington State Ferry System has accused a male captain of trying to hit her ferry with his ferry. <laughs> he claims he was just trying to get close enough to ask if she had any vermouth. <laughs> Mariner owner Jeff Schmullion's broadcasting empire lost over $22 million last year. Schmullion says he can make up the loss at Mariner Games by using an even cheaper cheese on the nachos. <laughs> Gonzaga University is building a new library with a computer link that will allow students to send information to the University of Idaho. <laughs> they, hope, they, they hope someday Idaho will have some information to send back. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, here we go. On with the John Report. There's a new store on Broadway where every item costs 99 cents. The store used to be in Bothell, but employees got tired of people asking, how much is this? <laughs> a Walla Walla wine has been rated one of the 10 best wines in the nation. It won in the category Best Wine from Grape Stump by Cowboy Boots. <laughs> Les Miserables is opening in Seattle. This year, people are hoping they'll win half their games. <laughs> but, but residents of a northern Seattle neighborhood are complaining that city light trucks race through their neighborhoods every morning. City light officials are concerned. They say those drivers should not be speeding first thing in the morning. They're supposed to be on break. <laughs> Local 7-Elevens are starting weekly surveys in which customers vote by selecting a yes or no coffee cup. The first question is, don't you think the most pathetic people in the world are those who buy their breakfast at convenience stores? <laughs> the average car in Washington State traveled 11,000 miles last year. The average car in Ballard drove 3,000 miles, <laughs> with 1,000 of those miles in reverse going back to the exit they missed. <laughs> Finally, the city of Renton's plan to annex neighboring communities has met with opposition. The people in those areas have politely told Renton officials that, no offense, but they'd rather bulldoze their yards and set fire to their houses first. <laughs>